Hey folks, Technivorous here, and today I'm going to show you how to pull all of the configuration settings off of your printer onto the SD card simply by running a file that is two lines that we've put onto the SD card. So, before you get any further into this video, make sure you reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button. Give that notification bell a good first layer squish. I'm going to go ahead and open up Notepad++. You can do this with any text editor as long as you save the file as a .gcode file. So, once we open this up, I'll show you exactly what we're going to do here. We don't need to see any of this business. Hit new, and we're going to start typing in our two lines of code. So this is super simple. We want to do two things. Basically, we're going to type M6046, and what this is going to do is give us SD card access. So I'm going to type that in here just so we can kind of comment that. And we have one more line we're going to do and that is M8512. And we are going to pick a file name to save this under. I'm going to save this under printer config. All right. And actually, let's be a little bit more specific. Let's save this under current config dot G code. That's how it knows to save it as a G code file. We are going to put the semicolon there, and this is basically it. So now I'm going to hit File, Save As, and I'm going to save this to my SD card. And I'm going to save it to my SD card as config ripper dot G code. So let's go ahead. And I already have one there, so I'm just replacing it. Uh, and then basically that's it. All you have to do is take this. Yep, modified by another program. Go away. Um, so all you have to do is take the SD card and put it into your printer, and then print that file. Okay. So um, in my case, it came back with a return and the saved file. I can show you what's on my SD card here. The saved file is in current config, just like we named it and it, it'll run it'll run for a minute and then it'll, it won't stop so after about 30 seconds you can just turn your printer off and pull the SD card everything will be on there we're gonna go ahead and I think I just opened that with idea maker whoops let's edit with notepad close this and here you can see my settings now there is a lot of extra data over here that you don't really need but the rest of this stuff is pretty good information. It's got the parameters as well as their settings. You can go in and find pretty much anything you want. So we're going to be updating this printer to use Marlin instead of the firmware it's using now. And some of these settings are going to come in handy, such as the E-steps, which uh, I'll show you how to dig out of here when the time comes. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty quick and dirty way to pull all of the current settings off of your printer. And it works flawlessly. Let me know if this video was helpful for you and make sure to leave a like if it was. We'll see you in the next video guys. Technivorous out.